Hey everyone, today I'm going to be testing out the myths of ceramic coatings. I've done a video on ceramic coatings in the past, so I wanted to do a follow-up on that video about how it lasted and how my car is doing since I put a ceramic coating on it. So I'm going to be testing out this myth using Avalon King's Armor Shield 9. Their ceramic coating was really easy to apply. You just wipe it on and then wait for it to cloud up and then wipe it right off. Their ceramic coating worked great and you can still see how nice my car looks today, but I still wanted to go over some of the myths associated with ceramic coatings. So the first myth is what I tested in my first video, that ceramic coatings can't be harmed by chemicals. So I tried pouring hydrochloric acid on my car and it held up just fine. It didn't harm it initially, but over time I noticed that there was a slight mark where I put the acid. So you can see this spot here and right here, this is where the acid dripped down. I poured it up here and it dripped down here. So this only showed up a few months after I poured the acid. So the truth is that the ceramic coating is a sacrificial layer and it'll protect against chemicals better than not having it there. But if you overdo it, then it won't protect your car from damage. And if I use a different acid like sulfuric acid, it just eats right through it. The second myth that I've heard a lot about ceramic coatings is that your car becomes scratch proof. So let's test that out. So what I've done here is I've coated one side of the glass with ceramic coating and the other side is just regular glass. So let's try to scratch it and see if the ceramic coating one holds up better than just the regular glass. Okay, this side with the tape has not been treated and this side has been treated. Now I have some sandpaper here. Let's just scratch both sides. Here's the scratch on the glass, and here's the scratch on the ceramic. So you can see the ceramic coating doesn't prevent scratches, but it does offer some protection for the lower layers because it's a sacrificial layer on top, as long as the scratches aren't too deep. Now the third myth I've heard is that once you have these scratches on there, the ceramic coatings are self-healing. So I've seen the myth that if you heat up these scratches, they'll just magically go away. So let's try that. I have a heat gun here. Let's heat up the side that has the ceramic coating and see if the scratches go away. Doesn't look like anything's happening. And my glass just broke. So you can see that it's not self-healing. Another myth is that you never have to clean your car if you have a ceramic coating. So the water beating can be nice because the water just kind of blows off your car. So if your car's wet and you drive, it'll blow right off. But if you leave your car stationary after it gets wet for a long amount of time, then those water beads can dry and make these spots. But because it still is hydrophobic, it's easy enough just to wipe right off. There are a lot of other myths about ceramic coatings as well, like it makes your car fireproof. Okay, go. Whoa! <laughs> So what is a ceramic coating good for then? Well, there are still some really cool benefits to ceramic coatings, even if these myths aren't true. The first is that it makes your car very hydrophobic. This means that it makes little beads of water or mud instead of spreading out all over your car. The left side of my car is not treated and the right side of my car is treated. So you can see how the water just repels right off of it. So if this were mud, it would easily fall right off but you still have to wash your car and maintain regular maintenance on it. But overall, it does make your car easier to clean. Also, it makes your car super shiny. There's no doubt that my car is super shiny after I apply the ceramic coating. Now to keep the shine, you have to continue to wash it and do regular maintenance like you would regularly, but it keeps the shine for a long time. And another thing is that it does add a protective layer that stops UV light from reaching the lower coats of your car, like your clear coat and your paint. So the ceramic coating is a sacrificial layer that's supposed to wear off over time. So if you provide good maintenance, it can last for many years and then you have to reapply. So if you want to try ceramic coating, remember that it isn't a magic fix for your car, but it will keep your car clean and shiny and protect the underlying layers. So if you want to try Armor Shield 9 like I used in my video here, you can click the link in my description. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video.